Well, you can see the countdown on your screen just hours left until the end of the legislative session in Minnesota. Leaders of both sides say they've reached a budget deal. Now it's just a matter of signing off on the bills, but that's easier said than done. Ellery McArdle is live at the Capitol this morning. Hillary, does it look like they'll get everything done by tonight? Well, Chris, the short answer, no, not likely, because the House and Senate still need to debate and tighten up 10 finance bills before the end of the session tonight. Uh, so what they're really focusing on right now is holding a special session sometime this week. But let's go over in terms of this budget agreement, what's in and what's out. Let's start with that hotly debated uh, gas tax proposal by the governor. Uh, he wanted to raise it by 20 cents, so that is out. The medical provider tax will stay, but at 1.8%, not 2%. State aid to schools will go up 2% for the next two years, and there's an income tax cut for the middle class. Also, an extra $50 million will go toward prison safety. Well, governor Tim Walls, Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka, and House Speaker Melissa Hortman use the word compromise in their announcement yesterday, but House Minority Leader Kurt Dowd says he won't deliver the Republican votes needed to sign off on the current budget agreement. They have not come to us and asked. They, they created this deal on their own without including us. So there's going to be a lot more debate and discussion throughout the day uh, to tighten up these 10 finance bills. Um, but in terms of that special session, though, lawmakers really want to get this all done in one day if they can. And they're thinking it could be Thursday, but that is not set in stone as of now. So we'll see.